All right, this is Towers Limited Edition Winchester knife. And I'm sitting here trying to think, do I want to make a two-piece sheath or do I want to make a fold-over sheath? I don't know. I think I'm going to make a two-piece sheath. Yeah, I think I'm going to. All right, I got a pretty good idea that this is what it's going to ultimately look like. And then uh, I'm going to fold this under and leave about this much sticking up. And then uh, I'm going to come around here with a snap strap. So, there we go. Let me get started. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. I got, uh, that's what we're looking like so far. Now I'm going to glue this on here and uh, let that set a little bit. And then I'm gonna glue this on here and uh, get it sewed. Let me just say this for the record. I don't really want to uh, make one-off sheaths. That's not something I really enjoy. And people have asked me before and I've turned them down. Uh, I don't enjoy knife ma uh, I don't enjoy leather working anywhere near as much as I enjoy knife making. And honestly, the only reason I make sheaths is so I can sell my knives. When I first started not making knives, I tried selling them without sheaths, and obviously nobody wants a knife without a sheath. So reluctantly, I started my hand at making sheaths, and you know, over time I got a little bit better and a little bit better at it, and I'm really happy with where my sheaths are now, but still, I only want to make sheaths for my knives because I have patterns, and you know, I've experimented, and Wasted a lot of leather to get my sheaths to where they are now. And uh, I've narrowed the amount of knives I make because I want to concentrate on doing a smaller number better. And it's the same for the sheaths. I have a small number of knives and a small number of sheaths that I have perfected, I guess. Uh, and uh, I have no desire to make one-off sheaths. And the only reason I did this is, uh, well, three things. Number one, he mailed it to me. Uh, it just showed up in the mail. And he gave me a whole bunch of wood. And three, he included a whole bunch of cash. <laughs> so, and really, that's the only reason I'm doing it. I have no desire to make one-off sheaths. Uh, I'm also making him a knife. And, uh... So, I just want you to know that, folks, to know that I don't, this is a one-time deal here. I don't enjoy making one-offs for sheet, for knives that I don't make, simply because, <coughs> excuse me, simply because I don't have time to experiment, and it takes a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm lucked out that this is coming out right the very first time, otherwise, you know, uh, I'd waste a lot of time and a lot of leather trying to figure out what will work. I'm not good enough at this to uh, make sheaths for knives that I don't make without a lot of experimentation and trial and error and adjusting sizes and moving stitch lines further in or further out. Although this seems like it's going to come out the first time and I'm happy. Anyway, I have my snaps and I'm not going to put them in until I actually get the knife in here and fold these over and see where the snaps will work. And I'm thinking about putting something fancy on the front. This is gonna be the, the top here. And I'm thinking about doing some, uh, I don't know, maybe some checkering, something like that. We'll see. Uh, but I gotta glue the bottom down first. I mean, the, the webbing, uh, I gotta glue that, glue that down first. All righty, back to work. Okay, uh, now, uh, I've got the edges all squared away. 
expect it's going to be all right. All right, let me, uh, I'm going to sew this. I'm going to start here, sew up, sew back, and then with one piece of thread, go up there and then come back and then tie it down here. So that's what we're looking like. All right, let me get to sewing. All right, <clears throat> we are sewed. Now, I'm going to uh, dress the edge and then do a fade. And I'm going to do a fade. See my little textured border here? I'm going to do a fade from there towards the edges. All right, all I got to do now is uh put the snap on but uh i think i'm gonna wait till tomorrow i gotta soak everything down with water and then i gotta form the back of this to go around that uh what do you call that finger guard and then uh, i put a little groove there where this will fold up easier and uh I want these to be really tight like that so i'm gonna put the snaps on tomorrow we're done. What do you think? This is the first two piece I've ever done. And I'm kind of happy with the way it turned out. Okay. I am, I, I still have to wax my edges, beeswax. My edges, and I'm gonna do that now, and then go home. That's one, uh, probably about six or seven hours on that, and uh, probably another hour or two for uh, wet forming, and then uh, putting the snap on. Not a bad day. See you tomorrow. I decided to go ahead and finish this. I'm I'm sitting here, and I took a little break, pet my dog, and uh, so there we go. I'm happy with that. Yep. Okay, that's done. Tomorrow, I am in the knife shop. I got three knives to make. <laughs> 